guys, I'm now here in the epicenter of the of this explosion that happened this morning. Um, as you can see, there are still a lot of people and police and everything is locked. And here you can see the most famous uh, University of Ukraine. I'm now passing through the park. It's the park of Taras Shevchenko and behind me there is the University of Taras Shevchenko. And this is one of the most famous universities in Ukraine in the very city center. And this is the park where uh, me as a kid was playing on the playground, feeding squirrels and birds in winter. And tens or maybe hundreds of children every day are playing here. And in the morning, it was a rush hour, 15 minutes before the strike, I was passing by in camp uh, here, this road. This is another evidence of war crimes, of Russia being terrorist state. I mean, what do they think, actually? If they think that they will scare us, that's, that's not true, they will not. Uh, if you saw the videos from the subway where people uh, were singing Ukrainian songs, Ukrainian anthems, when they were hiding uh, there uh, during the missile strike, and actually myself, I happened to be a little bit after uh, in the one of the shelter in, um, in the hospital. And everyone was calm, no one was panicking. I was helping out where the help was needed uh, because there were a lot of old people and children, but they haven't learned the lesson that our nation is probably one of the strongest nation in the world ukrainian history we are now the most united the strongest and difficult to express myself when i bottle up my anger but anyway we ukrainians are angry fury we feel rage but fear we don't feel fear anymore